for a while now I've wanted to uh, uh, build what's called a bull boat. It's an improvised boat. Uh, they used to build them using stretch skins. Uh, I don't have any stretch skins, so I'm going to use uh, plastic. Uh, same thing I used for making a, a tarp the other night, making a shelter. So uh, we're going to be using about a 10 by 10 piece of plastic for that, pretty heavy duty plastic. Uh, I'm going to use some uh, of this tarred bank line to tie off all my willows, the willow staves that I have here. I have a little bit of 550 cord I'm going to use to scribe out my circle. And I've got a whole bunch of stakes right here. And they're all pretty cut. So uh, I've got probably about oh, a dozen or so willow staves. I might need more. It's been a while since I built one of these. But uh, definitely come out. We'll be floating around in it, I hope. First thing I want to do is find the area I'm going to be building this in. You want to pound a stake approximately in the middle. Like that. I have approximately a two foot loop of 550 cord. I want to use that to scribe a circle. Alright, so that gives me about four foot. I'm going to pull that stake. And then from there, I'm going to start pounding stakes all the way around. I'm going to pound stakes around this to start the framework, and then I'll start up and show you what to do next. All right, now that we have all these pounded in a circle, what I'm going to do is take my, uh, my thinner ones of my willow. I'm going to kind of lay them around. And this is going to make the uh, outer top, I don't know, gunnel almost. I'm probably going to have to do another layer of these. About like that, so that makes a nice ring around. I'm gonna have to do another one, then I'm gonna tie them all together. All right, so I had to go out and get some more um, willows, just because I want this uh, this gunnel of this, this rim of this, to be good and solid. So I went ahead and got some more and, and just laced them in and out of here, and you use the stakes to hold that round uh, shape. Then what I'm gonna do is cut pieces of this bank line. don't have to be too long because I'm going to Canadian jam where these ends come together. It takes a little bit of moving around, but if you want to see videos on Canadian jam, I've got that too. And the reason I'm using bank line for this is uh, it's a lot cheaper than using 550 cord all the time, but it doesn't work quite as well, so you got to be careful with it. Because you can, with a Canadian jam, if you tie it too tight, it will come undone and break. So it's not as good as 550 cord, but it works. So I'm going to go through and tie this whole thing up and tie all the joints together on it. And then from there, we'll be putting across the braces. All right, now that we've got these all tied off um, into a circle, Got them all bound together. I'm still going to leave it on the stakes because right now I'm going to start in two of my heaviest uh, staves I here that I have here. I'm going to go ahead and lift this up. And then I'm going to lash with a square lash these ends on here and there and there. And then I'm going to bend them together and I'll show you how I bend them together and tie them up. But uh, this is kind of important that you do this. And there's going to be one going here, one going here, and then one going all the way across, too. So we're going to go ahead and tie those up in a square lash and then bend them over. All right, you can see I put this middle one in. It's a little taller than the two side uh, um, braces. Then I'm going to put one heavy-duty one right across. And I might 
put a ring around it too lower. I think I probably will. Uh, and then tie that all together. And then we should be able to put the covering on it and head it to the water. But you can see it's kind of a labor intensive deal. Um, but it's a fun project to do. I've had help from, I'm out camping with a couple other guys, uh, Iz and uh, Nick Rescue 33, or Rescue 2. And, uh, you know, we've had a good time putting this together, BS and while we're doing it. For a single person to do this, it's going to take you a little while to do, but it, it's a good project. Maybe your kids can screw around with it. But uh, we'll get her finished up and get her out on the water. All right, so we took the stakes out, and this is what we end up with. Uh, pretty classic bull boat design. You don't have to leave these up, but you do want to make sure they're not sharp. You want to go through this baby and make sure there's no sharp points or anything sticking out. I did end up putting that other strengthening ring around it. You can see it's pretty solid. Once it gets in the water, it'll be even better. So the next thing we're going to do this is our covering. This is a 10 by 10 piece of plastic. I'm going to kind of find the rough middle. That goes in there. And all the excess is going to come up in here. Kind of just... I'm probably going to trim these off even. That's what I think I'm going to do. So we've got this all the way around and what we're going to do is take some duff, make a button, and then tie it to the frame. Now we're going to do that all the way around it. Oops. <laughs> now I got a hole. That's all right. I brought duct tape too, just in case. So what I'm going to do is trim these off even so we're not making too bad, too many holes in this thing. And uh, if there is any, we'll be able to patch them up. So that's what we're going to do. And I'll show you how that goes once I get this thing trimmed up. All right, so we undid it from the stakes, put the covering on it, and if you look right here, you can see that we just put those buttons in and then tied them down to the frame and did that all the way around and then made sure that the rest of the material is tucked up under there. So I'm going to be using uh, a cold steel shovel for a paddle just because it's fun. And uh, we're going to throw her out in the water and see how it goes. Easy paddling. Circle you will 